Hi, my name is Arvid Nippenberg. I'm from Bremen, Germany. And this is the audition tape for the Vancouver Film School. Oh, if you're in this sea, you definitely should come and visit my party in my mansion. Oh, let me tell you, you would be very interested to see my reception hall in the morning, right before I'm even awake. There are all these diplomats and politicians jostling each other, buzzing like bees. And all you hear is a bzz, 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 bzz. <laughs> oh, uh, Once, I even ran a state. Yeah, it was very curious. Uh, the governor had vanished. Nobody knew where. So this politician come around for me. And they say, Sir, please come and take charge of the government. And I must admit I was a little taken aback. So I came out in my robe. Meaning to turn him down. But then I thought, the president's gonna know, right? And so I said, gentlemen, gentlemen, of course. I accept the post, I accept it. I won't stand for any nonsense. No, and as a matter of fact, when I walked through the government offices, you would think an earthquake had stuck. They all were trembling and shaking. They were all afraid of me. And they should be. I'm like that. I'm everywhere. Everywhere. I pop in and out of the White House. By the way, tomorrow they are promoting me to Chief of Staff. Mortal. Spirit? Who are you? Master of spirits. And being so, can you leave them and walk with dust? I know the sorts of dust and feel for it. And with you. How? You know my thoughts? They are the thoughts of all. Worsely of thought. Tis your immortal part which speaks within you. What immortal part? This has not been revealed. The tree of life was withheld from us by my father's folly. And with that knowledge, it was plucked too soon by my mother. And all the fruit is death. <laughs> they have deceived you. You shall live. But I live. But I live for dying. And living see nothing to make death hateful, save an in it clinging and loathsome and yet all invincible instincts of life, which I abhor as I despise myself, yet cannot overcome it. That's how I live. Would I had never lived!
I chose classical for my monologue because I felt like this role gives me a lot of possibilities to put uh, my creativity into it and to play it out as I desire. I chose um, the dialogue between Kai and Lucifer because I feel like it represents uh, this inner conflict of a human being who believes in one special thing but starts to question it. Since I was a little boy of about eight years old, I wanted to become an actor. When I saw Ben Hoover for the very first time, I was so impressed by the play of Charlton Heston that actually this was the moment that inspired me to pursue an acting career. As an actor, I think my biggest strength is that I create characters, my roles, from the outside to the inside. I use um, the world around me as the, the inspiration uh, to creating the roles and I think I can do it quite fast. And weaknesses, actually I don't feel like weaknesses really exist. Um, on my opinion, weaknesses are just a chance to improve yourself. Actually, I wouldn't choose anything else other than being an actor. There's nothing that fulfills me more and I would do everything to stay true to my inner feelings and pursue my acting career.